Hello, Hans here. In this video, I'm going to go through my automated system on how to rewrite existing articles. And there's a lot going on, but uh, let's get started. So, uh, I watched a video from Matt Diggity himself on uh, how to rewrite articles using AI. And he had some very good points in that video. And there are some pitfalls, but I'm going to go through that and show you what I've done to mitigate those issues. So this is just a make script with a ton of notes. Um, the first ones here are just getting a lot of data from air tables. Not that fun. Then we go ahead and uh, get our article from WordPress. We then take a screenshot. This is a screenshot API of the whole uh, website. Then we um, take the content, uh, use Markdown, HTML to Markdown to make it more readable. And we do the same for the meta tag. This is just to back up the original article. Then we generate an outline based on the original data. So the outline might not be stored anywhere and we would like a standardized method of writing an outline. So we have AR, AI have write our outline uh, from the original content. Then we go ahead and do a uh, keyword search. So we specified, um, in order to get this, we specified the blog ID and we specified a main keyword. That main keyword is used here to scrape or to look up the SERP uh, data. And we have language code and location code and so forth. We then uh, parse the data, not that uh, exciting. This is more exciting because then we use AI <coughs> to create a search intent. So based on our original keyword that we just searched for here, we're using AI to define a search intent and content expectations. So we are trying to determine very specifically what the search intent for the user is and how that content should look once they click on a link. So what are they expecting? expecting? Is it a list? Is it a comprehensive guide? Is it a baking recipe? Um, so we'll generate that here. Then uh, we will uh, create a rating of our original blog post. So we'll go ahead and rate our own blog post. Uh, and again, here you are an ex SEO expert who analyzes and rates blog posts based on Google search quality rater guidelines. And this is where um, the advice from Matt himself in my opinion, goes a little bit not off topic, but it doesn't do what it's what you're expecting it to do. It gives you, if you just ask ChatGPT to analyze your articles based on um, these uh, search quality rater guidelines and give them the documents, it will give you answers that are somewhat based on the document, but the document is 172 pages long and AI cannot hold that many tokens within its knowledge or its memory. It can only hold uh, GPT-4 is 8,000 tokens, which is 7,000 words or something like that. Um, so I went in and I distilled all the, all the important information within the search quality rate of guidelines. And I put it in here. So this is all the important stuff. I went ahead and read like the document from end to end and extracted all the useful information. And this is more than only this. So I went in, extracted all the information. I then distilled that information using AI into a more condensed version in order to fit all the information inside the memory of 
this Raider uh, AI. Again, we're using we're creating a analysis and rating AI for rating our blog post. This is very important that you cannot just give it a 200 page PDF and expect it to know everything within it. It will not or cannot know everything that's inside that PDF. And you need to summarize and distill the information into sizable chunks that can be fed into the AI. So once I spent like a day trying to get this distilled into a good format and prompting all of this uh, into something useful, we can now rate blog posts based on actual Google Search Rater quality guidelines uh, from the main keyword. And you can then see we feed in the blog post here with the main title and the blog post itself. And we kept the blog post because again, we only have so much memory for an AI. So we cannot feed it a 4,000 word article. You s it simply won't work like there's a memory cap so we need to do a substring here cap the word count so now we got most of the script done with this node and um, we then add a competitor selection because we just got all the uh, top rated block uh, or urls from serp here but we need to take only a few of them in order to uh, to rate on. The problem is that we'll run into, um, for example, Amazon. We don't want to be rating Amazon pages. We don't want to be rating web shops, government, or wiki pages. So we have AI sift through all the URLs and only give us a comma separated list based on what it thinks are quality URLs uh, from top to bottom. We then iterate each of those URLs um, and go through and look inside the pages. And we go and go through this content parsing, which is uh, extracting all the content from a web page. This is actually mind boggling hard to do. Um, you would think that scraping a web page is easy. It's not easy when you're doing it through an API. Um, so just FYI, <laughs> this is just trying to extract the primary content uh, of these pages. We then uh, export all those pages, uh, two or three pages into competitor, number of competitors, so competitor one at the URL with the main title, the word count of the article, and then we add a substring here because again we don't want to be overly like yeah we need to cap how many words we're putting into these systems and then we iterate we then rate each article so again this block rating node is used again here on each competitor so we get a um, competitor rating for each article as per what uh, Matt suggested. So we get the, um, this is just taking out the competitor information. And then we add the rating here from the AI. Now we get to actually write what we want to optimize. So here we have an AI node that we can put in the quality rate guidelines based on the main keyword, our original blog post outline and our original blog post word count um, and our original blog post rating. So all this is original or this is original data. And this is generated from AI, like what should we be optimizing? So yeah, this is our, not, not what we should be optimizing. This is just our rating. And then we take the rating from all the competitors. Um, 
based on that information, we have it right what should be optimized for the outline uh, for the new blog post. Based on the optimization recommendations, we have the AI write a new outline. Okay, and then we just, uh, because this one, uh, what to optimize, will also give us a recommended word count. Uh, this AI node is just to extract that recommended word count. Um, that was just the easiest way I could do that. So we're ex just extracting an, in an integer number here, which can be used for word count. Now we're almost done. So keep with me here. The final thing to do is that we rated our competitors on what they're good at, what they're not so good at, mostly what they're good at. And then we um, created a new outline based on what we need to optimize in our, web, in our outline, or sorry, our post. The final thing to do is we need to extract specific information from competitors' website in order to have context context to write the new article. Because AI, the general uh, knowledge of GPT-4, might not know, or it's highly unlikely that it has the specific data that the competitors have. So we will take each of our competitors' uh, blocks and we'll create an extraction, uh, an extraction AI that will go in and extract uh, specific knowledge from co competing blog posts that are relevant to our new, this is our new um, blog outline, and specific to what we need to optimize. So you can see here that please create a specific information extract from the competitor blog post, which is this one down here, uh, that can be used when writing our new blog post. Use our blog post outline and what to optimize to determine what information should be extracted from the competitor's blog post. Use no more than 200 words. Again, we need to be brief as possible with all this information because we need to feed it back into a writer and the less words we can use, the better. Never mention the competitor or competitor's author right as if the information was our own research without referencing competitors. That is because else it might sometimes reference the competitor as a site and we don't want to be linking to these competitors or have that weaven into the text. Then reference credible non-competing external sources. So if it references a government link, we can pull that in. And it will do that for all competitors that we found over here and create a, a full document from all these competitors, um, which will be just a summarization in bullet point format that can be used to write a new article. And the new article is more or less just a combination of See, rewrite here. More or less the same where we go in, we write a new title, um, which is SEO optimized. We write a new meta description. We write an image prompt if we need to generate a new image from an image generator. And then we write a blog post. So you're fun engaging article writer with uh, and an expert within expert description yada 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 you never add fluff you always write the most important thing first you always follow the tone of voice and writing style guides um, and then we add tone of voice and writing style guides here then we add again the search quality rate guidelines i slimmed this one down so it's more specific to writing uh, but it's still very comprehensive and then we add stanford questions uh, answer data set which is 
how to answer questions in an NLP friendly way. We then write, please write one section of an article about main keyword titled um, this, we just wrote a new title, and this is an informational, this is an article type article. So we have a big writing guide on how to write, and then we add, this is just one section of the outline, um, and then we have contextual information. This is the competitor's extraction. So the extracted information from the competitors are then used when writing a paragraph here. And then we have the complete article outline for reference for the AI. And it does that how many sections or paragraphs this needs to be written. And then it compiles all that into one article. And at the end, it does an FAQ. Again, writing style. Stanford question and answer data set, how to answer uh, questions in an NLP and SEO friendly way. And yeah, that's it. And then it outputs a rewritten article based on competitor information and using AI on how to optimize it. So I hope this was useful and um, yeah, write a comment if Want to know more? Bye.